Good morning, Light Lions. I hope all of you have had a wonderful week. The weather is getting colder, so I need you guys to stay warm, stay healthy, all right? And, you know, just do your best in school, all right? I know uh, things aren't exactly the best situation right now, but regardless of what's happening, we just do our best every day and we just keep pushing forward, all right? So I'm going to get today started, so let's go ahead, close our eyes, bow our heads, and we'll get started with today, all right? Let me pray. Dear Lord, thank you for today. Thank you for just giving us the opportunity to learn more about you. Um, we just ask, Lord, that you be upon us, uh, be upon our families, Lord, and just protect us, heal us, and uh, just let this season pass, Lord. I ask that... Um, we not forget that you are Lord of all, and that all things are under your control, Lord. So just give us the strength to move forward. Give us the heart to keep faith. But most importantly, Lord, let us love not only our family, not only our friends, but even our enemies, Lord. Let us love strangers in the way that you love us, Lord. Give us the strength and the will, Lord, and just give us hope for tomorrow. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. All right, so let's get today started. All right, we're going to continue on and we're going to move on to the fruit of kindness. All right, so here are the fruit of the spirit, right? The nine different pieces. And today we're going to go with the fifth piece, kindness. So what is kindness, right? If you look at the picture, right, you see two guys fighting. Is that being kind? Not really, right? There might be a situation where it might be, right? Like maybe some guy is fighting off a bully, right? But that's not what's going on here. These two are just fighting, just to fight. What about this? Is this kindness? This guy giving out a helping hand? Well, maybe, maybe not, right? Because it depends. Maybe that guy's helping him up, trying to make it so that he has to do something for him, right? We don't know. But... All in all, all of you know what kindness is, okay? It's doing something good for somebody else, right? So let's talk about someone who did just that, all right? This is the story of the Good Samaritan. Now, the importance of the Good Samaritan isn't just what this person did, but where these, you know, where the people are from, all right? And why it's specifically Samaritan, all right? So, you know, long, long time ago, this guy, he was traveling down the road, okay? And he was probably going to visit family or, you know, just going on vacation. And these robbers, right, they stopped him, they beat him up real bad, and they took everything from him. They only left him in his underwear, okay, on the road. And he was beaten up very badly, okay? And on this road, a lot of people travel through, but they don't travel in close groups. Usually it's like one or two people every hour or so, okay? So, you know, this guy's lying there and, you know, he's unconscious. And, you know, he has no strength because he's hurt so badly. And, you know, after a couple minutes, a guy walks by. And this guy isn't just anybody, all right? The Bible says that this was a priest, okay? So this isn't what he looked like back then, all right? If you could tell, this guy's wearing, you know, modern-day shoes, a jacket, a hat, you know. Now, this guy is called a rabbi, okay? So in our time today, in the modern Jewish people, they listen to rabbis because that's like their pastors, their moksanims, right? So a priest or rabbi walks by, right? And he looks at the guy and then he says, oh, he's too dirty. And then he just keeps walking, okay? After, you know, a little bit of time, another guy walks by and he's a Levite. Now, does that name ring a bell to you guys? It should, 
right? Because we talked about Leviticus, right? And in the book of Leviticus, we talked about the seven feasts, right? So Levites were the guys who wrote a lot of the rules that, you know, the Israelites had to follow, okay? So these guys were considered holy guys, right? There's a priest, which is like a moksanim, and then a Levite, one of the guys who wrote the rules of all of Israel, right? These guys were considered holy men, but they looked at this guy and they were like, oh, he's too dirty. I don't want him to touch him. I'm too good to help him. Right? Does that sound like something a moksanim or a priest or a Levite should be saying if they're a follower of God? No, right? That's not really kind. That's more of being mean and evil. So one of these guys, right, the Samaritans, comes by. Now what's unique about Samaritans or the people of Samaria, uh, they were basically outcasts. All of the Jewish people, all the Israelites, they hated Samaria because, you know, they were dark, they weren't very, you know, good looking, things like that. They would always constantly make fun of them. And they would always just, you know, beat them up, things like that. And they weren't very, you know, they weren't treated very well, especially by Israelites. So this Samaritan, this guy who, you know, is probably often made fun of and treated poorly by the Israelites. He comes by and he sees an Israelite lying on the floor, you know, hurt and in trouble. So what do you think he does? Yeah, he does what the Bible says to do, right? It says to help thy neighbor, right? It says to be there for your brothers and sisters, right? And that's what he did. He took the man, he treated his wounds, right? And then he actually put that man on his donkey so that he could ride the donkey and not have to walk. And he walked and guided that person into town and into a hotel. And, you know, of course, the Samaritan, he had business to deal with. So he couldn't stay at the hotel. But he paid the innkeeper so that, you know, that man could stay there, be fed, and get treated all by the innkeeper. And this guy, he paid for all that, right? So... The story of the Good Samaritan is that, you know, two holy men see an Israelite, a fellow man, who gets beaten up and gets dirtied, but they ignore him. But a guy who was constantly made fun of, who got beaten up a lot, things like that, he walks by and he helps the person, right? And, you know, Samaritans, they were like considered lesser people, right? They were very, very discriminated against. So it's kind of a wonder that, you know, some guy who is supposed to be lesser is doing more of God's work than the guys who are considered holy, right? Now, this was a story told by Jesus, right? And at the end of the story, he asks one of the priests, right? He goes, which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of robbers? And that priest, he replied, the one who had mercy on him, right? So the Good Samaritan showed kindness, but not just any kind of kindness. He showed kindness to the point that Jesus was using him as an example, because that's the purest form of kindness. That Samaritan wasn't expecting this guy to do something for him. He wasn't doing it because he thought he could make more money or get some free stuff. Nothing like that. The Good Samaritan helped that person because it was the right thing to do. And that's what kindness is about. You do good things for others, not because they can help you, but because that's what God wants you to do. Whether you get something out of it or not, it doesn't matter. You just do what is good because God was kind to us, so we should be kind to others. 
And that was the lesson that Jesus was trying to teach to all of the people in Israel. That it doesn't matter if you're, you know, from Israel. It doesn't matter if you're from Korea, America, Mexico, Brazil. It doesn't matter what country. It doesn't matter what type of person you are. If you're a follower of God, you have to do what God says and do it, you know, without expecting things in return. Because ultimately, God gives us everything we need and he gives us a little bit more so that we can share with other people. Okay. Good job, everybody. That'll be it for today. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out in prayer and then um, I'll let you go for the day. All right. So let's close our eyes, bow our heads, and put our hands together, and I'll pray. Dear Lord, thank you for today. Thank you for just giving us the opportunity to learn about the Good Samaritan and why it's important that we are truly kind to others. Lord, I know that uh, it's hard nowadays, especially because, you know, things are scary and, you know, we're worried about this pandemic and we're worried about the future, but Lord... Let us not forget the things that you told us to do, which is to be kind to others, be loving, be caring, and most importantly, just spread the joy of the Lord to others. So let us do that. Let us be good children of God, but let us also be just people who want to do more, Lord. Thank you for all that you've done, and thank you for... Just protecting the children, protecting the families, and just being with our church, Lord. I ask that we continue to grow, you know, just with you, to walk with you, and to learn from you more, Lord. Thank you for everything, and in the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. All right, guys. Have a great week. I hope you enjoy the weather, and just stay warm, and, you know, help each other out as best you can, all right? All right, be safe. Bye.